I've been watching Baldy's breakdowns, right? Because I love Brian Baldinger and I think he's absolutely amazing because he breaks down all these plays that like I wouldn't have noticed what these players are doing, right? And he pointed out the week before against the Jets that Kinlaw was doing these maneuvers and these these like he was playing like an experienced like an experienced person at his position. And I started looking at I'm like, okay, okay. I don't see a lot of people doing that, even, you know, being a vet at that position. And he's just spinning around, even though he's going for the block up here, that like his arm misses, he still has his feet exactly where they need to be. And like, mm -hmm. that's incredible. And then Baldinger shows these other things from this past game against the Giants. And Kinlaw is just like, make, he, he just jolts across the field. And that guy's a big dude. And somehow he gets to where he needs to be. He's getting to the quarterback. He's getting past everybody that he needs to get past. Like, he's incredible. I I just think he's going to keep going up. I know me and you have kind of talked about this before, and I don't think you're as hype about him as I am. But, like, I don't know. No, no. I like him more. a lot. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to compare to him, like, what he is. Like, he's not the kind of guy where you can just look at the box score and be like, well, he's a stud. I mean, look, you got, like, eight tackles and three set. Like, no, his his he's still working up to that. And he may get there one day, but like he's the kind of guy. It's like it's like that band where they don't have big singles, but it's like, dude, you gotta throw on the album and listen to track eight, and then go to like like three minutes in, and then listen to the drum solo and like this one little guitar riff. Like they're it, it's so good. Like you gotta know about the deep cuts. So yeah. you need Baldinger. You kind of need Baldinger's help to like bring you into the coach's tape and put it in slow motion. But like, just look, look at this guy right here. Watch how he moves. He's going to throw this guy, and he's not going to get the tackle on this play, but he's the reason that the play worked. And every time, every game, oh. there's like four or five of those with Kinlaw. It's like, oh, like I needed the coach's film in slow motion to really appreciate it, but it's there, and you yeah. can do it. Yeah. Well, the thing is, there's so much going on on the field, and I uh, I kind of got that from like their media press conference today. They're saying, was it M Mike McClinchy was like, you know, it looks like we're not really planning things or whatever, but like we are, we're calculated, we made these decisions out there, and we just go for it. And so you're watching all this stuff that's going on because there's a lot happening. I don't know if you've noticed that. Sometimes it's overwhelming to watch the game, and I'm trying to focus on all the players. So Kinlaw yeah. gets a little lost, especially yeah. with his size. You'd think he wouldn't, but he does. And so yeah. I go back and look at these plays and a thank you to Brian for putting them out there for us. But like, you just see the depth that he already has at his position at the week that he's in, in this first year in the NFL, which is incredible. So that's yeah. what I look at. That's why I'm like, okay, there are guys doing the same position, you know, and they've been doing it two, three years and they're not as good as that right now. So I think it's going to be exciting to see where he ends up. I don't think he's at where he could be, but I don't know. This guy makes me excited. Yeah, I, I I like watching him too, and it's fun. Like what I I I watched the, the film this morning, and I remind myself watch Kinlaw, watch Kinlaw, because you can forget he's not going to be making a tackle. But if you make a point to watch him every play, you can be like, ooh, that's a that's a good athlete. Ooh, dirty he's play, gonna man. Be yeah. good. <laughs> the really only thing with him is if you remember, he had a knee issue coming out, yeah. and it didn't affect him in college. It's not affecting him now. But what the people at the combine said is it's degenerative. Let's see what, like, like, by the time he's 25, 26, it might be an issue, but doesn't matter now. Yeah. And if they feel like he's not worth another contract, well, maybe they'll get four good years out of him. And one thing I got to say, he's not Buckner, and it's a step down, but he's a better run defender in this scheme than Buckner. A lot of the time what, what Kinlaw does is just hold his ground. A guy tries to block him and it's like, no, you cannot move me and I'm going to throw you and I'm going to make a tackle right here. Whereas Buckner could win as a pass rusher. He's so big, but he could get pushed around a little bit. So that's what I've seen as an upgrade from, from Kimmel. Yeah, he's amazing. Yeah. There's big booms yeah. out of him. I love it. Yeah, and I like his press conferences. They're a riot. He's awesome. He's like, he's <laughs> yeah. One day we'll talk about Javon Kinlaw's psyche, but we're going to need to see a little bit. We're going to need to do a little bit more. Yeah. Guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll be here every Wednesday at 2.30 Pacific time, 5.30 Toronto time until you move back to Woo! British Columbia, which is in the works. Is that right? In the works. We'll see. In the works. Okay. All right. All right. See you later, everyone.